So we have our start list now for the girls under 13, 1500 metres. The start list is as follows. Montana Monk from New South Wales. Georgia Burns from Victoria. Emma Kate Watt of Queensland. Grace Reed from the ACT. Mia Andrew Arthur of Tasmania. Caitlin R. Fook of Queensland, Megan Dixon of Victoria, Saffron Yates from South Australia, Kayla Chappell of Western Australia, Laura Burns of the ACT, Madison Gray from Western Australia, Nicola Hogg of New South Wales, Molly Cook from South Australia, and Amber French from Tasmania. So there the athletes that take place. We've just got a uh, medal ceremony underway here, and we're shortly ready to go for the girls under 13, 1500 metres. Medal presentation for the girls high jump. Medals are being presented by Mrs. Marjorie McNamara, life member, Little Athletics Australia. Winner of the bronze medal is Eloise Tolstoff from so Queensland. We'll start of the jump of the whilst we're the medal ceremony, and very shortly I'll be joined in the commentary box by Yusuf Abdi to bring you that 1500 metre final. Thanks, Ollie. Uh, the 1500 meters. Uh, three Winner of the silver medal meters. is Caitlin Billing uh, from Western Australia. Uh, with a jump of one meter sixty-seven. Shaking their eggs. They're just uh, wanting to start the race, but of course they uh, have to wait a little bit. They will all have different uh, strategies. And uh, Winner of the gold medal is Alka Bjorklund from coaches. Queensland with a Team jump management. of 1m69. Some athletes, they uh, feel a little bit nervous and uh, usually you will see them uh, taking the lead. And some of them are uh, naturally front runners. They like to Ladies go and gentlemen, to the front and push the pace. For the girls high jump. Either way. We'll find out shortly. So athletes, so athletes almost ready to go in this final of the under 13 girls, 1500 metres. So we're away now in this final, and uh, the two New South Wales girls off to a good start already. Nicola Hogg had a great day in track yesterday. Uh, both these New South Wales girls going out at a uh, ferocious pace there, so from Montana Monk and Nicola Hogg, and uh, just settling behind them with female from Western Australia, Yusuf, uh, going hard early here. Yeah, it looks like a crazy pace at uh, the start for the two uh, New South Wales athletes, but of course they uh, will not maintain that pace. I think uh, it looks like uh, front runners, these little ladies or two young girls. Uh, eventually they will uh, set it into a more comfortable pace, but at this stage looks like they are in control of uh, what they are doing, but it's still a long race. Three more laps to go. No doubt about it. So Nicola Hogg currently in the lead. Montana Monk sits behind her in second. The Victorian making her way into it. Georgia Burns currently sits in third, and the West Australian there, Michaela Chappell, uh, sits nicely in fourth. We've got the South Australian not too far behind them, Saffron Yates. So we saw uh, Nicola Hogg have a great day at the office yesterday, so Hogg and Bob look like they're going to go out and uh, work together here in the early stages of this 1500 metres. Of course, the meet record held by Georgie Clark. 440.90 set in 1997, and we know obviously she went to run for her country at the Olympics. Yeah, Georgie Clark, she actually competed as a 15 year old at the Olympic Games in 2000. So, uh, very talented young lady, Georgie Clark. But uh, back to the race now, the two New South Wales athletes are still in front, and uh, 
I know it seems a uh, fair bit to go, but that is the convincing lead so far. Yeah, no doubt about it. We saw Nicola Hall have a great run over 100 metres yesterday. Montana Monk has also had a great championship. Uh, the Victorian also running well. She's really trying to go in there. That's Megan Dixon currently sitting in third place. So Dixon currently sits in third and uh, in fourth place at the moment. Saffron Yates from South Australia. Just behind her running well, Caitlin R. Hook. And also the other Victorian there is Georgia Burns. So... Still the two New South Wales athletes out in front. Nicola Hogg doing it well. Monk trying to stick with her. And Megan Dixon sits nicely in third. So a bit of a breakaway here. We could be on for a fast time. I wonder if that championship record may be under threat. Of course, we saw uh, Nicola Hogg running well yesterday at 800 metres. And uh, we've got around 550 metres to go here, Yusuf. And it um, doesn't look like she's slowing down, Nicola. And, uh, and uh, it is an important, important uh, stage of the race. race. This is very much where uh, athletes commit, whether they uh, want to finish uh, uh, quick or not. And, of course, they are, at this stage they are, they are a little bit fatigued, but the mental element comes into it. Uh, when they hear the sound of the bell, of course, that will uh, wake them up and hopefully they will uh, uh, kick as hard as uh, they can. So one lap to go here, Nicola Hogg. Clock ticks over around 3.25. We could be on for a quick time here. Montana Monk trying to hold on there. Megan Dixon sits nicely in third. The South Australian Saffron Yates in fourth. Uh, just behind them, the minor placements. The Victorian running well, Georgia Burns. Starting to make her way into the race from Queensland is uh, young Caitlin Afoot there. So down the back straight, Nicola Hogg is really stretching out. This could be a fantastic effort. All eyes will be on the clock. The championship record is 4.44.90. As she goes with 200 metres to go, it's 3.57. So if she maintains this, that championship record may well be going here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get behind her. She's got less than 200 metres to go. This has been a fantastic effort from go to woe here from Nicola Hogg. We may be seeing a star of the future really kicking home. So 120 minutes to go. Nicola Hogg from New South Wales. This has been an outstanding performance. The clock ticks over 4.20 here. She's really lengthening. Georgia Clark records under threat. Ticks over 4.25. She's running away. Great run by Montana Hogg. But Nicola Hogg here, we've seen a star of the future. That made records gone. She crossed the line there. That's an Australian best performance. Made record 4.33.26. That is a fantastic effort there, and Georgie Clark's meet record, and also Susie Walsh's Australian best performance record have been smashed. Great running there from Montana Monk in second, third place, the Victorian Megan Dixon, but all eyes there, Nicola Hall has had a fantastic weekend. Great go here for the minor places. Look at Kate Minow, looks storm home. She's going to get fourth place here, just ahead of the South Australian Saffron Yates, and also a great run from Georgia Burns of Victoria. Coming in now, just behind her, and uh, Molly Cook crosses the line with Grace Reid, but we've just seen a fantastic effort there by Nicola Hogg, Australian best performance, meet record, and that Australian best performance was set back in 1987, and uh, she smashed it by around three seconds, so congratulations to Nicola Hogg, her coach, her family, everyone involved, and... Uh, We've just seen a fantastic run there, and well done to all the girls in that race. It was certainly a fantastic race to watch up here, Yusuf. So fantastic racing by our girls, the Tasmanian. Almost in the home straight here, and uh, certainly been a tough day. And let's get the crowd behind, let's get behind the Tasmanian here, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a tough day for athletes yesterday and today, so many athletes obviously competing in not their pet events. We saw shoppers competing in the walk yesterday, and uh, sprinters competing in distance events and whatnot. So, well done to all the girls and boys for the past couple of days so far. It's been fantastic to view this team event, and uh, great run right here from Mia and Ralph from Tasmania. No doubt all the athletes will have a good sleep tonight after this, but Nicola Hogg, fantastic effort. We may be uh, hearing a bit more about her in the future. And great to see the girls wait around and shake the hands there of Mia. Great sportsmanship by all the girls, so that's what it's all about. That was a great race, Molly, and uh, obviously Nicola, that was an impressive win. Uh, 
Going to cross down to Nara Nang, who's got the three place getters there, and of course Nicola Hogg, the champion. Yes, I've got Nicola Montana and Megan here with me. Nicola, a record Australian best. Are you happy with that? Uh, yes, very. <laughs> Well, congratulations. congratulations. Girls, yeah, I just, just want to know, know what really got, got you into, into 1500 and just athletics in general? Um, I started in you no know, under nines, and I guess I just really enjoyed the long distance, so I started training, training for it, and yeah, here I am. Um, well, I do the school cross country carnival and stuff. And then my mum signed me up for little athletics, and then I started there, and then I went on from there to 1500s and stuff, 800s. I started when I was under seven, and probably just fine. Yeah, especially 400. Awesome girls, so make sure you stay having fun throughout your whole career because it's going to be a long one. Congratulations.